to right. make sure you see the product and not just my head. Is there handles on it? No. They never put handles on these machines. And I'm always expected to pull it out by plastic and hope. That is a very bright orange machine. You only stick my face. You didn't even see the machine come out, did you? You know you can move the thing with the switch. <laughs> but don't move it all the time. That's rest. I'm pretty sure I got a prototype. For sure that's resin. Let's get some alcohol and let's clean it. This is Ground Affected. My name is your dad and today I'm here to tell you about a Pyocreate, a new... Uh, they're not even new. They're, I don't even know. They're taking over from the Creality Holot machines. And uh, this is the Pyocreate Holot X1. And uh, basically this is a 16K mono LCD uh, 3D printer for resin of the resin kind. I do want to mention though that this machine was sent to me to make a video. There was no uh, monetary compensation. Uh, it just, here's the machine, please make a video. Now as I set up the UI of this thing is uh, fairly okay, there is, it, to be honest it works and in my opinion I don't really care if this thing works like an iPhone or an iPad as long as it just bloody works. Uh, the light that you're seeing here is a honeycomb matrix light source and that is the information that I have on a screen in front of me that I can read out to you because I can't remember everything off the top of my head. Some things I can tell you though as you may notice that the vat and the light source uh, lifts up to go to the build plate and the build plate gets locked up at the top by a fancy locking mechanism but I will tell you more about that a little bit later. Now the build volume of this machine is 211 by 118 by 200 millimeters. There are a couple of extra smaller millimeters involved in that number but it's just not even even relevant. I don't even care uh, but it is a LCD screen which is 16k and actually to be totally honest with you the pixels on this uh, particular machine is 15,120 uh, by 6,230 pixels. That makes the pixel size uh, 14 by 19 microns. Super small, super crispy, and also you may notice there is something weird about the build plate on this machine too. This uh, particular machine boasts no leveling at all, and I did not do any leveling at all. However, I must just say, printing something small, for example, like an Amera Labs town, in order to do a exposure test to figure out the exposure settings, is not easy to come off of that build plate. However, I had then just decided to put, after getting a successful print, just print a load of stuff and see what comes out of the machine. Now I do want to mention that even though the build plate is super fancy and yes it is cool that they clip off the rafts need to be thick enough how otherwise it will leave little broken pieces on the bottom of it which need to be scraped anyway which is kind of annoying. Now the uh, slicer that I used for this particular machine was just the Holotti slicer. I think it's called the Holotti slicer. I'm probably wrong and if I am I'm super sorry about that but I must just say that the slicer is fairly simple-ish to use, but very limited compared to any of the slicers that I would use. For example, like lychee, I pretty much just use lychee to support everything, and then I just imported an STL into that slicer uh, to print. This is the parts coming off of the machine and the way they came off of the supports.
like it's stuck. It's literally stuck. Literally, you have to unlock the frame platform. So it actually locks, it's not even loose. Like, I feel like that's like an extra loose again. So the build plate is uh, definitely different and uh, what I'm about to show you is a clean of the screen and this is due to the fact that this printer does not come with a heater. That is an optional extra. Really, one of the things that I completely think is silly, crazy, uh, not right. Usually um, anyone would just click print thinking that the settings that they had set in their slicer would be set in the printer. However, this is not the case with this machine. You have to click the print control, which uh, you would think then would... Anyway, you still, now you have the local parameters and then file parameters. You have to click the file parameters because if you don't, it's going to just print its own parameters, its own settings and not the ones that you have set after you've done hours of calibration testing uh, that's the uh, <laughs> let's be honest though that is something that can easily be fixed with an update in the future now the build plate uh, again back to the build plate they do stress that this machine needs no leveling and i've mentioned this before to a certain other creator that i feel like we've never ever needed leveling or any of the fancy stuff why don't they just make it so that it's a solid build this place this company this machine has a solid build plate essentially because it just locks in place once that build plate goes up there's a little lock that goes in and it locks a build plate in and boom bob is in fact your uncle you are printing 3d printed parts but at what cost you say pray horatio well it comes at an introductory price currently as i'm speaking to you of 459 dollars the actual retail price of this machine though is going to be 599 uh, this is on a kickstarter so of course uh, you are backing something and getting a slight uh, discount for doing it early but as I said, it doesn't come with a heater, and so I had some small problems with failures due to not having the heating situation correctly under uh, wraps. Another thing about the printer is it's a little bit messy, and I'm not really sure where this was coming from, if this is from the build plate itself or where. But there was a bit of residue of resin, which is kind of annoying for someone like me who likes to keep my machines nice and clean. Now I guess you would want my final thoughts on this 3D printer and how I feel it is as a 3D printer and if it's worth putting your money into something like this. Now, one thing I cannot tell you about is tariffs. We all know that that is a thing happening so I'm not sure if this is going to affect the cost of this. I also don't know how long or how well that lifting VAT system is going to hold up over time. So I can't honestly give you an answer without testing it for months on end exclusively. However, it is currently on a pledge price of an early bird offer of $459, which is a little bit lower than what it's actually going to come out, which will be like 150 bucks more than that. So for the price of it, I mean, it prints all right. It does a good enough job. It makes 3D prints and they come out uh, in resin and they do what it's meant to do. So at the end of the day, as far as printers go, it is in fact, yes, a printer uh, that obviously will have to be up to you whether you want to spend your money on it or not now i want to say a massive thank you though to my patreons for watching my videos and supporting me uh, above just watching the videos obviously and uh, also i need to say to all of those who had any kind of an issue with this video i really don't care and now is probably the time for you to kindly f off